in its war against invading Russian forces. While the European Union recently approved a robust four-year $54 billion aid package, continued funding from the United States may prove more challenging. U.S. President Joe Biden recently welcomed fellow NATO member German Chancellor Olaf Scholz to the White House and stressed the need of getting a new Ukraine aid package through the bitterly divided U.S. Congress. We have to pass the national security spending package now. Our House members are being somewhat reluctant. And hopefully it's uh, more politics than real, but uh, including funding for Ukraine and uh, help them continue to defend themselves against the brutal aggression of Russia. Ukraine relies on the financial and material support of primarily NATO member states for its effort to defend itself against Russia. Biden's likely challenger for the presidency, Donald Trump, said that as president, he had warned an unidentified NATO member to spend more on defense or Russia can do what it wants. I came in, I made a speech and I said, you got to pay up. They asked me that question. One of the presidents of a big country stood up and said, well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, you didn't pay, you're delinquent. He said, yes, let's say that happened. No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. In a statement Sunday, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said that any suggestion that NATO allies would not defend each other undermines all of our security, including that of the U.S. Arash Arabasadi, VOA.